Meet Adam, a 40-year-old man living in Pittsburgh. He just watched his beloved Steelers win Super Bowl 61 on a hologram field in his living room. He's pretty pumped, but work beckons in the morning, and it's bedtime. Healthcare, much like football games, has moved out of giant buildings and into the home. Adam's house is a lab, a customized environment, an early warning system designed to deliver optimal health and convenience. As Adam enters his bedroom, it automatically adjusts to his own best body temperature, humidity level, lighting, and air composition. Adam's an asthmatic and has a dog named Rex, so getting rid of allergens and pet dander is important to him. He puts on his Two Breathe Sleep Inducer, a tracking module that syncs with his smartphone to create a melody that matches his breathing pattern and promotes good sleep. Adam falls into his 360 smart bed, which has a sensor-enabled mattress that tracks his heart rate, motion, and breathing throughout the night and sends results to a companion app on his phone. Dreaming of Steelers touchdowns, Adam sleeps like a baby. Eight hours later, Adam's alarm gently wakes him and provides important information for the day. Temperature, air quality, and his exercise and diet goals. He ate a ton of nachos last night, so he's got some calories to burn. As Adam brushes his teeth, he does more than polish his pearly whites. His breathometer device monitors his oral hygiene as well as his gastric and lung health via his smartphone. He gets a B grade for his oral health, so he gets some tips for improving his brushing technique and limiting bacteria. Time to burn off those nachos. Adam puts on his Polar Team Pro shirt, a sleeveless workout shirt that tracks his heart rate as well as his speed, distance, and acceleration. It's a bit cold outside and the air quality isn't great today, so Adam decides to use his NASA-inspired weightless treadmill, which reduces stress on his creaky knees. As he runs, his smart socks monitor his running form and remind him not to land on his heels. After a quick shower, Adam's ready for breakfast. His Abstats biosensor monitors his digestion, which isn't so good after all of those nachos. He decides to have oatmeal, egg whites, and a banana. He takes a picture of his balanced meal using Google's I'm Two Calories app and finds that it matches his caloric and nutritional needs for the day. It's time for work. Adam hops into his Spira 4U car, a lightweight and low emission electric vehicle made out of sturdy foam to minimize the impact of crashes, which just about never happen thanks to automated driving and collision detection technology. Adam joins his co-workers for a meeting at a pedal desk. As noon approaches, his knees start to act up. He uses his lunch break to deal with the pain, not at a doctor's or therapist's office, but at his local pharmacy. Adam greets Jamie, his longtime pharmacist. He would tell her about his knee pain, but she already knows. Adam decided to share his trackable health data with his pharmacy to improve care coordination and get personalized treatment. Adam's gait, measured by his smart socks, changed over the past few hours, and Jamie received an alert. She's got just the thing for his knee troubles. Aspirin? No. Aspen, Colorado. Adam's prescription is a virtual reality experience of skiing down the slopes. The VR experience lowers his cortisol levels, which promotes healing and allows him to rehab his knee safely. Stress-free and on the path to recovery, Adam's ready to return to work. Meanwhile, Adam's sister Eve is about to take their mother to the doctor. Vera is a feisty 87-year-old living in the same community that she grew up in. She has COPD and heart disease, and today she's not feeling so well. Before her appointment, Vera uses an in-home spirometer 
that automatically sends results to her PCP. Her doctor also has data from other trackables, including a heart rate monitor and pedometer, which shows that she's been taking labored breaths and tentative steps recently. All of Vera's data is automatically analyzed by a Watson-like AI decision support tool at the primary care practice. When Eve and Vera arrive at the hospital, they use the MapWise app to take the most efficient route to the doctor's office. They know Vera will see the doctor on time thanks to a no-wait-like app that removes uncertainty over appointment times. Chairs, doorknobs, toilets, sinks, all are automatically sanitized and the air quality is continuously monitored. Dr. Haas greets Vera and Eve with a fist bump. It transfers less germs than a handshake. And then he powers up Watson, which analyzes Vera's health data. Freed from his role as a scribe, hiding behind the EHR, Dr. Haas can focus on relationship building and understanding Vera's motivations and care goals. It turns out he's kind of a softy. Watson has some bad news. Vera's weight has spiked over the past few days and her heart isn't pumping blood efficiently to the rest of her body. Watson thinks there's a 98% chance that Vera has a heart valve problem and recommends that she has a heart valve replacement. Vera, Eve, and Dr. Haas discuss and agree that surgery is the best option. With cost calculators and transparency tools, Vera knows exactly what the procedure will cost and what her insurance will cover. Vera's replacement valve is created with a 3D printer and she's prepped for surgery. The surgeon's in his workout gear, but that's okay because he's working from home on a robotic arm. The surgery, now minimally invasive, goes smoothly and Vera is transported to a specialized ICU to recover. With her own stem cells promoting healing, Vera is almost ready for discharge. But first, she gets a customized care plan from Watson, created based on her goals of care conversations with her providers, her genetic biomarkers, and best practices in heart care from around the world. With payment reform, Dr. Haas and his team get paid for keeping Vera healthy in the community and out of the hospital. An on-staff tech expert shows Vera and Eve how to use Pill Drill, an app that notifies patients when they are due to take a medication dose and sends real-time updates to caregivers and providers. They schedule follow-up appointments carried out via teleconference. Eve takes her mother back to her home and reluctantly leaves the fiercely independent lady alone. But she's not really alone. With great calls, suite of caregiver technology, Vera maintains her independence while Eve and Adam receive notifications related to their mother's vitals, diet, and other activities of daily living. The next morning, Adam and Eve receive a notification from Vera. Come quickly. They dash to Vera's home and find her decked out in black and gold colors. It's time for the Steelers victory parade and Vera's not going to miss it. Even in the future, some things you just have to see in person.